in the unfathomable, boundless expanse of the cosmos, a distance of 15 billion miles from our home planet Earth, the radiance of the sun fades into insignificance, and the darkness of the void begins to envelop even gravity itself. Amidst this desolate and forbidding landscape, a vestige of a bygone era, the 46-year-old spacecraft known as Voyager 1 continues its inexorable journey. Launched before the advent of the internet, smartphones and the birth of most of us, it has outlived its designers, its expectations and perhaps even its purpose. Voyager 1 was an intrepid pioneer, a symbol of human ingenuity, launched on September 5th, 1977, with a mission to explore the outer planets, Jupiter and Saturn. Its twin, Voyager 2, was sent two weeks earlier, following a slower route to include Uranus and Neptune. However, Voyager 1, aided by a rare planetary alignment, was catapulted into deep space, moving faster than any spacecraft before it. By 1980, its primary mission was completed, but the spacecraft refused to stop. It journeyed beyond Pluto, past the heliosphere, into the unknown. In 2012, it entered interstellar space, becoming the first human-made object to escape the sun's influence. Since then, Voyager 1 has been drifting in pure darkness, recording data from a realm where no solar wind blows, no planets orbit, and no help can ever reach it. Its onboard instruments, many long since shut down to conserve power, still capture magnetic fields and cosmic rays. It is, quite literally, drifting beyond the known world, running on nuclear decay and outdated code. In 2023, something changed. A transmission arrived that looked normal until it wasn't. It contained fragments of data that didn't belong, sequences that didn't match any known output. Engineers noted inconsistencies in the data, structural anomalies that didn't resemble malfunctions. Some bits were too organized, too refined, as if they were inserted. The official story says it was a simple error, that Voyager 1 was accidentally transmitting data through an inactive onboard computer, that engineers simply rerouted the system back to a functioning processor, and everything returned to normal. But behind the scenes, it took NASA months to issue the right command. Not because of technical difficulty, but because the transmission kept changing. As external researchers began asking questions, NASA's public statements remained vague. Anomalous data, they called it, a software routing issue. But experts in radio signal analysis who examined the publicly available stream noticed something buried deeper. An oscillation, not noise, not compression artifact. A pattern, a tone. It pulsed gently at a fixed frequency like a musical note held in perfect balance, repeated with precision over a duration of hours. When mapped into audio format, the tone became eerily harmonious structured in a way that defied statistical randomness. But perhaps the most haunting question remains, who was that signal meant for? Voyager was never meant to listen. It had no receiver, no ear. And yet, its antenna had reoriented slightly, but enough to matter. Enough to raise the question that NASA won't answer. Did Voyager 1 send its final transmission on its own? Or did something ask it to? While NASA publicly treated the anomaly as a glitch, engineers reviewing the raw data began noticing something they couldn't ignore. The patterns embedded in the transmission weren't just repeating. They were adaptive. Sequences of numbers appeared to be referencing physical constants. But at a resolution, Voyager's aging instruments couldn't possibly measure. Some of these values match known cosmic benchmarks. The gravitational constant, the Hubble parameter, even fine structure calculations that govern atomic behavior, but with decimal precision several orders higher than Voyager's detection limit. That meant only one thing. The data didn't originate from Voyager. 
it had passed through Voyager. Somehow the probe had become a relay, a messenger delivering data it was never meant to hold. But if that was true, if the signal wasn't from the spacecraft itself, then the next logical question was terrifying. Who or what sent it through Voyager? And why? It was no longer about an ageing machine experiencing interference. It was about an intelligent decision somewhere in the void to use humanity's longest running eye in space as a carrier. And it had succeeded. Then came the moment no one wanted to talk about the silence. Voyager 1, for the first time in its history, went completely dark. For twelve full hours, not a single signal reached Earth. No heartbeat, no carrier tone, nothing. In previous instances of signal loss, there had always been a trace. Drifted orientation, weakened signal strength, solar flare interference. But this time, the signal didn't weaken. It just vanished as though Voyager had left the known electromagnetic spectrum entirely, and just as inexplicably as it disappeared, it returned. Same position, same frequency, same power, but different data. When it came back online, timestamps in the transmission had reset. Internal clocks on the probe now referenced a time origin that didn't match Earth's or its own. The transmission resumed in a new pattern, structured, symmetrical, and accompanied by the same musical tone as before, but now enhanced, as if whatever was behind it had refined the signal during the blackout. The quiet wasn't a failure, it was a transformation. Inside NASA's deep space network, the global system of massive antennas used to track distant spacecraft Engineers quietly began rerouting resources. Antennas in Madrid, California and Canberra were all realigned to give Voyager one uninterrupted 24-hour observation. Nothing was officially announced, but internally everything changed. Datasets were encrypted, access logs became restricted and high-level meetings were moved offline. This wasn't routine. This was response. At the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, archived telemetry was pulled from backup. Engineers who hadn't worked on the mission in decades were brought back in, and over time it became clear that they weren't just trying to recover Voyager's systems. They were trying to interpret something new, something no one had ever seen before. The question that circulated behind closed doors wasn't about a malfunction, it was this. Did Voyager 1 encounter something conscious? And if so, what else might be out there? Voyager 1 was built with technology that by today's standards is primitive. Its memory is minuscule. Its transmission rate is glacial. It cannot steer, it cannot see. And yet, despite all of that, it became the first object in human history to leave the sun's influence and enter true interstellar space. That alone should have been its final act. But now, with this final transmission, something has shifted. A probe once considered a relic of the past may have just become the key to our future. What if Voyager didn't just send one last message? What if it brought one back? The implications are staggering, because if the final signal wasn't just a technical anomaly, if it was an encoded reply, a payload of knowledge or worse, a question, then the final transmission of Voyager 1 isn't just a goodbye. It's an invitation, and the world is not ready for the answer. For decades, Voyager 1 has been our ambassador to the stars, a lonely machine adrift in the vast silence beyond our sun's reach. It was never supposed to last this long, it was never supposed to speak again, and yet, in its final breath of signal, it may have said more than we ever expected. This wasn't a system failure, it wasn't a glitch, it wasn't noise. What Voyager 1 sent back was structured, deliberate, and above all intelligent, not in the way we define intelligence, 
but in the way the universe whispers its deepest truths, through symmetry, resonance, silence and sound. Something reached out through that signal, something precise, something that knew when and where to wait, something that used our own machine, our own creation to speak, and what it said wasn't an answer, it was a question. Are you ready to listen? A transmission doesn't have to be loud to be world-changing. Sometimes all it takes is a frequency perfectly tuned and a moment of silence that feels too calculated to be natural. Voyager 1 may be on its way to darkness, powered by fading plutonium and outdated memory chips. But in that darkness, it might have touched something we were never meant to find, or worse, something that was waiting for us to arrive. As the world grapples with this enigmatic and potentially transformative event, debate rages among scientists, philosophers and the public about the implications of Voyager's final transmission. Some see it as a harbinger of a new era of interstellar communication, a first step towards understanding the mysteries of the cosmos and our place within it. Others see it as a warning, a reminder of the vast and terrifying unknown that lies beyond our solar system, a realm that may hold untold dangers and threats to our civilization. Regardless of one's position on this issue, there is no denying that Voyager 1's final transmission has captured the imagination of people around the world. As we continue to analyse the data, to interpret the signals, and to ponder the implications, we find ourselves face to face with the ultimate question. Are we alone? The answer may be out there, hidden in the darkness of the void, waiting for us to find it. But whether we are ready for it or not, we are about to find out. In the meantime, as we wait for the next transmission from Voyager 1, we can only marvel at the ingenuity and determination of the human spirit that sent it on its journey all those years ago. A journey that has taken us to the very edge of our solar system and beyond. A journey that has shown us that there is still so much to discover, so much to learn and so much to dream about. As we contemplate the mysteries of the cosmos, let us remember the words of the great poet John Keats. A thing of beauty is a joy forever, and may the beauty of the cosmos remain with us forever. As the years pass and Voyager 1 continues its journey towards the edge of our galaxy, the mystery of its final transmission lingers. Engineers and scientists continue to analyse the data, searching for patterns, for meaning, for some clue as to what could have caused such an anomaly. But as the signals grow weaker and the distance between Earth and Voyager 1 grows greater, the chances of ever understanding the true nature of that transmission grow slimmer. Some believe that the transmission was nothing more than a glitch, a random occurrence that will never be repeated. Others argue that it was a deliberate message, a call from some unknown intelligence that has been watching us for millennia, waiting for the right moment to make contact. Still, others suggest that the transmission was simply the dying breath of an old and tired machine, a final gasp before it faded into the void, forever. Regardless of what the truth may be, one thing is certain. Voyager 1's final transmission has left an indelible mark on humanity. It has challenged our understanding of the universe, forced us to confront the possibility that we are not alone, and inspired a new generation of scientists and engineers to continue the search for answers. As we look to the future, we can only wonder what other secrets the cosmos holds, what other mysteries await discovery. But whatever those secrets may be, one thing is clear. The search for knowledge, the desire to explore and understand the universe is a fundamental part of what it means to be human. 
and as long as there are people who are willing to ask the tough questions, to push the boundaries of what is possible, to dare to dream, the cosmos will remain a source of endless inspiration and wonder. In the end, the true legacy of Voyager 1 may not be the data it has collected, the images it has sent back, or the mysteries it has uncovered. Instead, it may be the questions it has inspired, the sense of awe and wonder it has instilled in all of us, and the reminder that no matter how far we travel, no matter how far we go, we are all part of something much larger, something beautiful, and something truly extraordinary. <laughs>